Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and uh, if you see my last video I purchased a 16 gig RAM Mac Mini M1 and um, today I'm going to show you the stress test I put on this 16 gig RAM. Um, my aim was um, that it, should, it shouldn't use uh, sort space at all, if it did then I would pretty much be disappointed for that extra £200 I just paid or nearly £300. Um, the whole point was uh, to get the 16 gig RAM Mac Mini so that it doesn't it doesn't need to use uh, swap space and obviously have enough RAM to for it to use uh, and process or deal with the, any 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 kind of stress that a user can place on it. And um, so what I'm going to do is um, all I'm going to do is load up lots of applications. And lots of YouTube videos, um, 4K videos, 8K videos, and um, run um, Final Cut Pro, and also uh, Luma Fusion um, in the background. Um, keep them running, and open lots of, uh, like I said, lots of YouTube videos uh, simultaneously, and uh, to see this stress, how much it can take without, or does it access any sort of space. Uh, like I said, ideally, I don't want it to do that. Uh, the whole point of a 16 gig RAM is to to give itself enough to breathe, basically. So uh, the problem is uh, with these machines is that you cannot upgrade in future. So um, if you bought an 8 gig model, you have to be careful. Uh, it depends on your workload. If you are a heavy user, um, then... Um, uh, yeah you need to think about this beforehand so hopefully this helps have uh, this helps you make a better decision i mean i it certainly helped me make a decision when i purchased it i i viewed lots of youtube videos done lots of research seen what the other guys have done said and um yeah definitely wanted to stay away from the 8 gig model though it's um, uh, financially quite attractive 699 for 8 gig ram mac mini However, uh, as I said, you, you can't upgrade in future. And um, if your intention is that you're going to be using it quite a lot, um, heavy task, and your task will obviously get, you know, bigger and, you know, you will you ha really have more workload, then it's something you need to be thinking ahead. And uh, for myself, I thought if I can get the 16 gig model, I, I may have future proofed it. Uh, hopefully um, they're already these models are already faster than normal intel processors or better good high quality intel processors um, the processing wise you don't have to worry too much but it's the memory uh, either one of the memory gpu cpu you cannot upgrade so think better carefully before you purchase one of them um, so hopefully this kind of gives you any um, kind of a advice or kind of a better understanding of what which one you should go for i mean like i said i personally bought 16 gig ram with 256 gb ssd drive not fussed about the ssd drive because you can always add, attach an external disk or you got icloud to help you out with that uh, however with the ram you kind of stuck so so like i said i've um I've just loaded up lots of YouTube videos and just randomly lots of videos, uh, God knows how many, and um, ran uh, a trial version of Final Cut Pro, which I'm using, seeing how it goes, and I got the Luma Fusion. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that it doesn't touch the swap space at all. And most of you know swap space is from the SSD drive, um, so it's going to use if it starts using memory as a, from the SSD drive, and uh, it's going to it's going to wear the SSD drive out. Uh, so ideally, I want it to stay away from SSD, um, sort space to stay zero, and use the the sixteen gig RAM it has. So let's see how it goes. Stay tuned, and um, yeah, if you if you have any comments, just uh, hopefully good comments. Um, about this um, then let me know and uh, don't forget to subscribe share like and comment as all these are uh, what YouTube likes and also beneficial for my my new uh, YouTube channel to grow um, 
So without talking too much, and um, I think you should really don't need to watch all of it because it's just that long video. I was just trying to stress it out much as possible, uh, long as it took. So I just don't think you need to see all of it. Um, you can skip it and maybe look at the last part as well after a good um, four or five minutes so far you're already listening to me um, so in the in, in 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 the middle you can just ignore them or just skip past them and uh, just go at the end or something uh, ideally looking at it, um, it it is going up without touching the sort of space so let's see what happens So, um, uh, as I said, uh, I've just randomly picked up many YouTube videos as possible um, and a couple of uh, editing, video editing software I kept over running in the background as well, uh, LumaFusion and um, uh, Final Cut Pro, which is the trial version I got, um, just to max out the, see how much I can, uh, how much I can do. So I've just focus, focus on this activity monitor mostly and um, uh, because the screen i just resized it when i screen recorded it i just screen sized it to the center uh, i just don't don't see any necessary reason or need for for the full screen because the focus is on this this part um where the physical memory just uh, the total physical memory available and how much is it being used and whether swap space is used um so as we can see it's um it's hitting around 12 gigs so far um cache files just under four gig however so far so good zero swaps used and that's that's what it's supposed to do in my opinion i did not want it to touch anything to do with this ssd when it comes to the memory um use what you have basically and 16 gig or plenty to to breathe uh, for the system to use so so far it's looking good let's see what happens and uh, just ignore the screen in terms of uh, size it's i deliberately resized it when i done the screen recording um to minimize the view and focus into this particular part the activity monitor because that's where we are interested in rest i've just explained to you i got god knows how many 10 15 20 maybe um youtube uh, videos running and uh, all the most of the applications uh, on on this mac mini just started them up even though i haven't even used them um we'll, we'll see what happens uh you know as you can see it's gone up to 12 gig already and uh, so far yeah let's let's see what happens if it goes up or if it uses swap space or anything like that So um, after running all these uh, application videos and video editing software, trying to maximize its uh, RAM usage, I managed to just get just over 12 gig of RAM was uh, used out of the 16 gig. Um, and most importantly for me, which made me happy is uh, it didn't touch the swap space, no swap space used. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I think uh, it, it done brilliant and I'm really happy the fact that whatever I paid it made sense now um, and um, I hope it's it, I really feature proved it and um, 
yeah, so the 16 gig is it's just plenty for the system to use and work on. Um, so I think it's if it's one upgrade you want to do, is just make sure you do the RAM. I think it's it's worth it. Um, like I said, SSD you shouldn't really bother with that. You got you got external SSDs, you got iCloud, um, and you obviously get some to over just over two hundred um, gig SSD you get with it yourself uh, on the drive. Uh, so yeah, if you are thinking of getting one. And if you are thinking you're going to be using quite a lot, then um, heavy tasking, then I, I suggest you go for the 16 gig model, whether it's uh, this M1 version or the late, uh, the next generation M1X, if that's what they're going to be calling the next one. I think it's always best to go for that 16 gig since the main problem, main limitation is you cannot upgrade. So I hope uh, this has been helpful. Um, I know for a fact I watched lots of videos before I made this purchasing decision and um, and it really helped me so I hope this will help you as well um, if you are a new buyer or if you're new into Mac OS ecosystem just like myself um, and um, yeah just uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, or informative at least and if you liked it you know just give us a sub and uh, a like in the comment if you want to see anything else done with this um thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video